Oh, that looks like a trap. That that one coin. Uh, oh no! <laughs> amazing. All right, so if any of you out there are currently craving a combination, you know, like peanut butter and chocolate, peanut butter, you know, jelly, uh, just, I, I love peanut butter. So if you are craving a combination, you can't do better than gigantic extinct reptiles and motor cars, vehicles. Oh my God, it's just a Godzilla roar. Capcom, you bunch of carnies. <laughs> I mean, this wasn't even the first time they took sounds from, from Toho movies and stole them. Ah! This is uh, Camaros and Woolly Mammoths. It is, it is part of the the holy trinity of Capcom beat-em-ups. Licensed Capcom beat-em-ups that uh, very rarely have ever get any ports. And this is the rarest of all. Uh, don't interfere with our business. My men will teach you a lesson. Well, I'm Jack fucking Tenrack, and I will teach you all of the lessons. One of the earliest games I remember, like, emulating back in the day, like, early, early 2000s, and just getting really excited. I saw this in the arcades maybe once, very early on in the 90s. I don't remember playing it in the arcades per se, but I remember the show Wasoon and all that and loving the show. I can never catch it at a consistent time though. It was always on at weird times and I forget what channels. And I thought it was like too advanced for my little, my little baby man mind. I was like, oh no, this is a show for big kids. Cause the designs, like the, the character art for that show was so strong for the nineties. But I don't know much about the franchise in general aside from this game and, and uh, sporadic episodes of that show. Because I never read any of the comics. I don't even I don't even know if they're like in publication anymore. I remember there being some weird shit about the the creator of Chaos Status just disappearing off the face of the earth. Maybe he traveled to 2527 and lived out his Cadillacs and Dinosaurs dreams. I hope so. Good for him. Fucking live your dream, dude. So the the, the thing about this game in general that I really like is that I I, I don't know if this came first in 1993 or if Punisher did. But they came out the same year, regardless. And they do represent, ooh, hey creep, get away from that dino, get lost or lose your teeth. Well, we'll see who loses whose teeth. Your carcass will fatten up this rock hopper before I skin it. I love that they had all these, like, non-scientific names for dinos, because they didn't know what the fuck to call them. There was no science complicating matters and making dinosaurs less cool. I won't go into it. Anyway, this game represents an evolution in Capcom beat-em-up design. M -m maybe uh, Captain Commando might have gotten ahead of that a little bit, but for me, it's this uh, Punisher and AVP that really started pushing forward the combat depth. A good deal. Just, it, the, it really started making things a lot more smooth in Final Fight. And there, there's a secret attack combination in, in the game, but I forget what it is. Uh, we'll have to experiment with that later. And, and, uh, unless I forget about it, which I might. The, the other thing is that I think uh, each character has... Wow, that's awesome. Uh, they're going to pay for this, hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, I think each character really has a different specialization, which, is, which are kind of bigger differences than Cody. Uh, Hagar and Guy had in Final Play. It, it listed some of them on the character select screen. I think I think Jack is the all-rounder. Hannah is, is better with with weapons. That final uppercut was neither final nor an uppercut. Please discuss in the comments. All right. All right. Damn, I'm good. All right, so we eliminated everything in the city in the sea. The butcher is hunting in the northern woods. Don't mess with him. That guy is really nuts. Not like me. I'm totally normal. The swamp forest. Yes, yes. The mountain desert. Sure. Yeah, there's me and my and my Camaro. Low jungle levels and beat 'em ups. Not used nearly enough. It's like this, uh, AVP, and like that's kind of it. Jungles. Jungles. Oh, kind of the the desert in in Streets of Rage, too. 
kind of have a jungle setting in the takeover, but not really. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, Vegisaurus. I don't know what they would call them. If you just have to punch them a little, and then they know that they can't mess with Final Uppercut. You can't actually kill them because this is like a pro Dino game. I don't think you can, at least. I love, his pain state's kind of funny. I have to admit, he's just like, ah, oh, fucking shit. Why is this happening to me? My God, wasn't there another uh, Cadillac Caddies and Dinosaurs game that was like uh, a Sega CD game? It's like uh, FMV or something. I have to look that up after this, or or an editor can splice a scene of that in for the folks at home. So the other thing this game really instituted, just like Punisher, is like a lot of uh, gun-based combat, which is actually kind of sick. It. The, I, th that should that should be in more beat em ups. That was obviously a big thing in the takeover, but I think it works really well here too. And I don't know how violent this game gets. Oh wait, I do. There is a bit later with this boss that's like kind of nasty actually, for 93 at least. Because because the Punisher kind of gets fun. There's that one um that one warriors like um. Warring Nations, like, uh, fighting game that was in the Capcom beam up collection where you're, you're, like, taking dudes' heads off and stuff. Warriors of Valor, maybe? Something like that. Okay, I'll go in a minute. I'll go in a minute. Oh, my boots are getting so clogged up with swamp juice. I may be a rough and tumble Jack Tenerak, but I don't, I don't want wet shoes, man. All right, we, we, we got to move on. We got to move on from the gross swamps. That's in the, that's in the past now. I can't believe this. Look at all the dead bodies. Some of these dinos were my friends. A couple of them owed me some money, but that's okay. You go into dinosaur heaven. Dynamite. Okay. It's it's a little weird because the, the Cadillacs and Dinosaurs universe is kind of like Mad Max meets dinosaurs, which is awesome, actually. You can literally say Mad Max and put in whatever. It's not going to be a bad idea. No! Oh, gross. Fuck you! <laughs> Just straight up, fuck you in a Capcom game. Uh, in a 93 Capcom game. Come on, Mr. Butcher. It, he's really limited in his job choices and what he can do in this universe. <laughs> Final uppercut. You know some dude at Capcom USA, maybe D James, I don't know, maybe this was in his era. That was like, I why did you why do you have him say final uppercut when when it's not a final uppercut? It's not even it's not even close. It couldn't even be it's the most horizontal punch ever. There's no verticality to it at all. And it's suggested we just ignored. Like there's a splash of blood uh, here and there. I also can't forget um I can't forget Knights of the Round. I don't remember if Knights of the Round had dashing. God, Capcom made a lot of beam ups in like 93. Oh, Jesus. Looks like your ruck just slung out. Who are you? I don't like that gun. It's very threatening. Well, how about I just do that? That's awesome. Uh, yeah, I forgot when you switch characters out, you get like a rocket launcher. Bazooka. Get out of here, Butcher. Yeah. Excellent slow mode death kills on these bosses. Yahoo! What a wimp. <laughs> yeah, fuck that guy. That's true. All right, so that was the swamp forest. What's next? Hey, man, you look pretty busy. This is a good time to take Jack's garage. Hell road. Let's go. I think this is like a vehicle section, perhaps. Jet looks pretty busy. Oh, man, his Google Calendar is all filled up. This is perfect time to steal stuff. Let's go. What is this? What? Take my car. It would be safer. I won't. No, not me. Oh yeah. We're on the highway to hell. Uh, cars are very rare in this universe, so if uh, I just assume if any of these guys saw a car, these like Badlands dudes that were running over, they just freak out and think I was a god, driving like a silver chariot, you know. And Hannah's just like, I've never driven before. I am sorry! You stay back there. Stop throwing grenades at Jack's caddy. Aw, oh, shit. Alright. 
Spiral Smash? I have no idea what she said. The final uppercut is very distinct, but that's a little garbled. Uh, awesome. Oh, okay, the, the weapons don't stay in your hand. Do a cool pose. Tahoo! Hannah, mega cutie, Hannah Dundee. Uh, okay, Hannah, look, our garage. Someone is going to pay. I mean, you, you guys saw what happened. Oh, it's a stupid boomerang guy. Block the entrance with these. No one can destroy a barrel in a beetle. Oh, no! Uh, nice place. Now it is mine. Is it though? Stone? Whatever. That was weird. It's not a good beat em up weapon. Might as well just. I don't know. Go pocket sand at that point. Ooh, a woman's two favorite things a necklace and a shotgun. <laughs> Alright, deep into Jack's garage. Where he's working on all this shit for, like, I don't know, Jay Leno and his car collection. In 2,532, Jay Leno's head is in a jar for sure. Asking for more cars. What the hell? I just, I didn't even realize you could do this. You can hold your head and then direct it? That's sick. It, it, I'm not sure if it does more, more damage with a powered up head, but that could be a thing. Very cool. We're going to pay with this. With my bit of wood! So much dynamite and knives. It's, what, are, what are we in? A dynamite and knives factory? It's too many. It's too dangerous. As long as there's no dinos in here to accidentally get hurt. Oh, that looks like a trap. That that one coin. Uh, <laughs> amazing. More shit like that needs to happen in brawlers. Just, just simple little gags like that. I, mean, I wouldn't have done that for a gold coin. A pizza, on the other hand. Or perhaps a small uh, collectible Godzilla figurine. If you, want, if you want to get me stuck in a mousetrap, just put like some Godzilla bullshit. That's really exclusive and hard to get if you're not in Japan. Le Liam's just threatening me all the time with pictures of cool Godzilla shit. I'm just like, damn you. And he's like, hey, hey, hey. Uh, ooh, parfait, delicious. All right, here's, what are you doing in my garage? Hey man, I'm here to put an end to your little adventure. Okay, okay, gun versus boomerang? I'll go with gun. Oh, uh, so he, he went to the Rolento school of having after images. Ah, uh, damn. So Mustafa, he's good with flying kicks, apparently. <laughs> Okay, save me. What's happening there? How is that happening? Oh my god, you see that? The dude just, like, is pink mist now. What is currently happening there? That is just a straight-up Tatsumaki. Oh, that is a really good dive pick as well. Oh, how did he throw, like, eight boomerangs? It's gotta be a record. Jeez. Ah. Get off me! That's the best. That's the best thing for a beat em up protagonist to possibly say. When they do their move that's specifically designed for people to get off them, and he just says what he sees. Mustafa does. All right, that went by really quick. I wasn't really paying attention, so let's, let's keep it with the Mustafa vibes. Oh, let's blow him up with this. Yeah! Very satisfying. Get off me! <laughs> Hey, I'm a bad mamba jamba. Yeah, say all of the 90s things. Where's the beef? Don't have a cow. Okay, I'm starting to think that D James did have a did have a um, uh, a role in this game. Hello, this is Mustafa. Help her under attack. The dinosaurs have gone crazy. They're dinosaurs. Village of Flame. What was this village called before? Is it always called Village of Flame? Oh my god. That's good! That he's eating like this food and there's all these dudes that are just burning to death around him. There's they're they're squeals of pain echoing on the wind. That's good! There's little baby dino stuck at, Oh! Oh no! Don't! Get out of here, Zeke! Uh, someone needs to look this up who owns this. Right? This can't be an expensive license to bring back. Like, Punisher, okay. 
I'm sure that's the, you know that's not free. Uh, and Capcom didn't bring that back unless you, you count the arcade one-ups. Don't even talk me talk to me about AVP, right? But but that's a current franchise that own, that's owned by Disney. Who owns Cadillacs and Dinosaurs? Let me know in the comments. Oh my God! You have to let me know if Blanca's gonna appear. It's just like one of those mutants in that one episode of the animated cartoon. Those, those three, like, knuckleheads are in the sewers are just like, Bleh. You know what episode I'm talking about. I'll probably be uploading that episode soon, so, that, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, there's absolutely no reason why this uh, AVP and The Punisher couldn't have been added to um, the Capcom beat-em-up collection. Couldn't have been added as DLC. See how, right? Does that not make perfect sense? See how the beam up collection performs. If it does okay, does your expectations or, or better. Maybe it didn't, but I, I'd like to think it probably did, right? But put that out. Oh, it did really well. Well, then let's use some of those uh, profits to go towards licensing those three other beat em ups. Like, Capcom literally licensed out AVP and Punisher. His name is actually Mess. What a mess. He takes it to excess. But like all three of these, and there has to be one or two I'm forgetting. That Capcom hasn't re-released in a while. I don't know, Mighty Final Fight perhaps? Or if there's enough left over, make a beat-em-up collection too. God, I would love that. Like you don't even need to bring, like at this point, you know, I, I can play the Final Fight games that I want. And I don't mind that there, you know, there's not a new one. Or whatever. I don't mind that there's not a new one. If, if they take all three of these licensed beam ups and, and and I'm giving Capcom a choice here. Bring Final Fight back with a whole new game, a 3D remake of, of of the first game, or a whole new game, whatever you want. Or you have to bring back all three of these licensed beam ups in an easy console PC based format that people can support them. These are my choices. Capcom, you better choose wisely. <laughs> Alright, so we're stuck in this village of... I forget the name of it. Does anyone remember the name? Thank you for coming, because I wouldn't help with their master's evil plan. His name is... No, old man. That guy always had a big mouth. Now he's got holes in his chest. Anyway, so this is Morgan. He is a dorky little guy with a newsie. Quite the boss. <laughs> I actually forget the, the, the final boss's name. Ooh, it was a nice sequence. I actually forget the, the, the boss's final form, name, whatever. In AVP, it's just um, an alien queen, I think. Like a mutated alien queen, doesn't matter. And in Punisher, it's easy, because it's just it's just uh, fatty bo uh fatty fat 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 uh, Wilson Fisk. But in this, I don't remember. Deal breaker? Dead Breaker? Whatever. Alright, now I'm really gonna... Now it's getting interesting! Oh my god! Alright, I have 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Oh shit, looks like your luck just ran out. It should be the dinosaur holding... Holding the gun. Maybe they can't re-release this because of the Godzilla roar. And they're super scared. Cause they, they fixed that, that sound effect in later re-releases of Street Fighter. They super did. At least I, 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 in HD Remix, maybe? I have to check if the HD port of Turbo uh, that came out early, early on on the Xbox 360's life. And no, 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 not Turbo, because uh, Fae Long Stage wasn't in that. So the first re-release would have, uh, digital re-release of Super Street Fighter 2 would have to have been the, the HD uh, Remix. Uh, ST. So yeah, maybe the, maybe that's that's why we're not getting Cadillacs and Dinosaurs again. Capcom doesn't want to pay Toho the two bucks. Get out of here, thugs and weird monstrosities. Yeah. Alright! Alright, damn, I'm, damn, I'm good. That'll teach you to crossbreed your genes with a dinosaur. Idiot. What the heck? This doctor's crazy! Although strangely attractive. Anyway, jungle and mine. 
very simple and straightforward. The the village of flames, city by the sea, jungle and mine. With all these jungle and mine enemies. <laughs> Get out of here. Blade and razor. At least they know their jobs. It's like if I'm if I'm gonna be a knife enthusiast, I need to actually be called like blade and or razor. I don't make the rules. Alright, now we're in the jungle part. Switching to Hannah. Cause she got it going on. Loving this. Oh my god, evil barrels. Like and, and again, Capcom brought back, of course, the other license beat him up, but I wasn't really counting it because it, you know, got a very good port. Uh, the Chronicles of Mistara D&D uh, &D game, right? That and that's like backwards compatible on like modern systems, and it's on Steam, right? I, I played that on the main channel not even too long ago. Um, so that was like, oh, that's worth it, right? If you, I don't think you can mix all three franchises. You could definitely mix AVP and Punisher, I guess, uh, just because you know that's all under the Disney umbrella. If Capcom released like a, a, a beat 'em up triple pack, all three of those games, they're all expensive. But they're so, you know, if anyone that doesn't want to emulate or, or doesn't like, you know, have the know-how, whatever, it would be a dream come true for a lot of uh, kids that grew up in the 90s and nowadays. Here's three beat 'em ups that you haven't played in an official form in like 30 fucking years. I mean, to me. To me, this is simple. This, this, this would make would would make money. Wouldn't say print money. Not saying it's gonna sell like a billion copies or anything. But that, that that's a, a, a little that's a little disappointment. About Capcom Arcade Stadium as well. I thought they would add those games, and now Capcom's like not adding any games anymore. They abandoned that pretty fast. Look at this guy. Don't worry, Matthew. Just vibe. Doesn't matter if those brawlers aren't coming anymore. Smoke weed every day. All right, we got, we got, we got to clear out this, this swamp forest, whatever it's called. I will show you the incredible power of the Doctor. Now we're just getting disgusting. Now, the other guy, he was fine. It was just like you know, a dinosaur from ABC's sitcom Dinosaurs. But now it's just this gross new toy. I was I was kind of interested in these doc in this doctor's experiments at first. Now I don't like it too much. And it's got this weird shit jutting out of his chest. No, no, no chest jutting, please. I can't be convinced, but not at this at this particular moment in time. No, I think Mustafa has my favorite quote so far. Like he's not saying like spinning kick. It's just get off. <laughs> Uh, uh for, if I ever work on a beat em up in the future, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna make sure your one character has to go get off me. What? What? Gurgle? That damn gurgle! Are you serious? So I guess it's like a Las Plagas, and it's just jumping from jobber enemy to jobber enemy. That's that's kind of cool, actually. It's different. Okay, it's called the Tyrog. Yeah, that's that's a generic as fuck uh, weird ghost mutant man if I've ever heard one. Use those iframes. Deal breaker. Oath breaker. Oh, coffee good. So I'm gonna continue fighting this mutoid. Finally, I need I need I need my Java. All right, cool. So but oh, someone help me, Gurgle. This fucking gurgle is ruining my life. Oh, okay, this one this is just blood star beast now! Oh my lord. Okay, this time. I'm gonna be deadly serious. I need to get rid of the with Tyrog. It's still Tyrog. Tyrog version we're on what, five now? Oh, that cake looks so good. Uh you know, uh Studio Ghibli uh food looks Fine, it looks okay, but nothing is delectable as 90s Capcom arcade food. Ugh. It's just like a generic power slam. If they just change it, just tweaked it just a bit to be a power bomb, oh, I'd, I'd so be more a, a, a mess main. All right, that's gotta be it. Don't you fucking dare get up. <laughs> Number one, baby. 
Oh, man, he doesn't look number one in that portrait shot. Is that really the best picture of that character you could have drawn? Uh, this guy looks familiar. I think it's the genius Dr. Fessenden. The equipment looks like the staff in the underground thing. Episode 7, The Vault. Where are we even going? Who's Dr. Fassbender? If I see, like, bridges and shit, just really... Just get out of here, Zeke. Yeah, there, there, there you go. Yeah, be fucked off. <laughs> There's a lot of knife play going down here anyway. You don't, you don't want any part of this. B fuck it. I thought we were done with Biker Michael Likers. Get out of here. Go back to Sturges. Oh, hell, hello, fellow uh, beat em up brawler friends. I see you are also in an elevator. This is the mandatory elevator section. Please keep your hands inside the brawler elevator. You get knocked the fuck out. It's just like these old, like, you know, games you, you kind of grew up admiring or playing in the 90s or whatever, right? And even if you play them a thousand times and they're not um, available very easily on digital services, whatever, and you can use emulation, you can use whatever you want. But if you like that thing enough, you can still want for its official release to come out so people, like, widespread people can get it. And it gets supported. And, you know, you just... Not like build a community, like you can if like community can be built around it, but just like a kinship with people to discover uh, like, how awesome certain games are that just, you know, just kind of fall by the wayside. And the fact that Capcom has had all these opportunities to bring back these uh, these three beat em ups I'm talking about. And they did good by um, D&D, uh, they did good by D&D, uh, the Chronicles of the Star release, but like, these other three, especially Punisher and AVP, being handicapped to big expensive options only, is kind of like just, man, can you not get your fucking shit together, please? You're doing so well in all these other areas, but like this could use some work. Alright, chocolate. I don't know. Chocolate would probably more likely seem like, I don't know, and just sushi. It's just tons of it. What are you guys doing? Oh. Final Smash, I think she's saying, actually. Or the computer room. A computer must seem like a computer does in the Amazons, in this new, new episode of Futurama. You know? Hannah or Jack will see a computer and be like, is this a god? I'm pretty sure it must be. And, and it would be voiced by B. Arthur. That'd be sick, too. Voiced by Dorothy? I'd love that. What is this? Oh my god. Alright, some guy's face up. You fools dare to try to stop the creator of a new world! Yeah, we dare. I can give you an all new lives, just as I have done to your old friend. Go ahead, Slicers. Oh, because his name was Slice. This doctor's very funny. I can barely take on one dude. I can handle two at the same time. I'm not physically or mentally equipped for this. God, that's such an awkward move. It's like they didn't want to do uh, Hagar spinning Larry, so they just did whatever the hell that is. Oh, that donut's right there. Damn it. Oh. Hey, I'll pick it up now. That's the perfect time to get, pick up a health item in a beat em up when I just gave back the life. I'm not sure if they do they have their own individual life bars? I guess maybe? It's hard to see. Okay, no, they, they, they have separate ones. I thought they shared the same pool of health, which would be crazy. <laughs> okay. Mustafa, Mustafa will get it done. They're gonna pay for this. Yeah! All I need to do is shoot a bunch of bazooka rounds at him. Uh, get off there! It's the fucking Star Trek 60s sound effects. Hey, cool. Bad to the bone. So there's a secret basement. So far, you've only witnessed a taste of my power. If you dare, come and behold true genius. I don't know. You do have an ascot. I guess I'll have to believe you. Uh, like, yeah, repurpose the sprites. Just have to, oh! This, this, is, this is getting becoming very Resident Evil, isn't it? And if people are getting mutated into monsters and saying they want to bring a new world. Did they rip? Did did, Cal did Shinji Mikami rip this off for the basic plot of Resident Evil? I think it. I, 
Mm, seen a lot of evidence. I don't know. Wait, what? What was that? Oh. Oh, it's the secret attack. I for I told you. I told you I'd forget. Yeah, let's go into the sewer. Didn't you already do a sewer level? Oh, it's like a sewer sex dungeon. Oh, there's... Okay, there's Jack's flipping special attack kick. So, yeah, a, a sewer sex dungeon's gotta be, like, fucking civvies. Red dream over here. Oh, my lord. Okay, well, this is now my nightmare. Ah, just get out. I want this. I want this watch. Damn it! No. No. Ugh. Uh, oh my god, it's not. It's this cool rolling attack. An actual cool fight. Don't do it, Anna! Oh. Wow, she survived that with no issues at all. What? Oh. Okay. Okay, final smash. I gotta pick up that. A catcher's mitt? Okay. Oh, jeez. This, this is getting tougher and tougher as, as we go on. Just the enemy combinations are just getting really toxic. Ooh. What we have? Is is that a nuke? I've been expecting you. You're just in time to start your new life. Okay, we've seen this shit before. Fucking Michael Fassbender thinks he's so great with this. Oh my god. That's, that's his flipping attack. It's just like this forward whoopsie. It's just like one of those things, like one of those like fallout things where they, they pray to the nuke. You know, like, I, he's just attached random wires to it. He has no idea what it is. And what does that have to do with mutating our genes into dino people? Like, again, I don't hate it. I'm open up to the possibilities. You know, receptive to them. But it just seems, Dr. Fassender, that you don't have a really well thought out plan here. And then we turn into dinosaurs. Yeah, then what? Pathetic fools, that was the true power of my serum as it takes effect. You're gonna turn into a dinosaur again? You just turned into fucking Birkin! I've finally done it! All the strength of the mighty dinosaur and my extreme intelligence! The world is mine! No, you don't, dude! You don't have like a dick or whatever now! How are you gonna live life like that? Look at this thing. It's just the dude's head growing out of two dinosaurs at the same time. And he's like, I will rule the world. Like, what type of life are you gonna live? You know? What are you what are you enjoying really? You can't fit into most things. This seems like a monster that would be in like Konami's aliens beat him up. Or shoot him up, I rather, I guess. Yeah, you're not gonna see this character on like a Capcom Christmas card of all their IPs, all their different characters. You're not gonna see the the Dr. Fasend from Cadillac. Yeah, that was sick. Dr. Fasenden from Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. Like, at least put Lin Corsau in something else. Anything else. Ah! Knifed in the back by guys who specialize in throwing knives in your back. Jack's kick is so, Jack's kick is as silly as, as um, Rising Tackle. Look at that. He just stretches his jeans apart. You can see his butt and everything. Alright. That should be it. You can't touch this! Yo, Jack, don't hurt him! I'm too legit! What? No, you can't be serious. Yeah, kick him in the butt! Make fun of him! Blow them kisses! I'm not finished. Oh, mutating is such a rush! And then I died! <laughs> What did any? His lab is gonna explode! Run! Yeah. Hurry up! <laughs> Hannah! <laughs> oh, we're gonna roll, Ted! Get the fuck out! Jack, Hannah! Did I get bad end? Oh. I might have gotten bad end, who knows. Or it might be, I think it, yeah, I think I might have something up its sleeve here. So, good st good job on the objects, everybody. And we saw, we saw some shit. And uh, I guess they're just, they just gotta walk through the Badlands uh, by themselves. It's just, there's no more Cadillacs, they're all gone now. We wasted them all in the war. 
the war against Michael Fassbender. Oh, D. James, yo! I knew it. I remember there were one, one or two other titles he had some involvement with outside of Street Fighter. His name is listed under, but yeah, that's sick. Oh, Jack and Hannah, you are all right. Yeah, we barely made it. Facendon was madman. His insane plans were cool. He tried to mess with the balance. Nature always balances itself. Let's go home. You guys can't be in the car, though. You gotta walk. Uh, leave my mark here. There you go. Can't expect much better from me. Awesome. So that is Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. It really, you know, has the two things that it advertises, which is Cadillacs and Dinosaurs, and, and, and proves that uh, if we work together with the dinosaurs, we can overcome anything. Uh, let me know if there's any other beat em ups, Capcom, or otherwise I can play on the channel. And until then, I will see you next time in the Flop House.